Hello, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on day 23 of my 100 day challenge. Um, this is part two of my um, ephemera stamp uh, folio. Um, so if you have not seen part one, I will link it below in the description. Um, but uh, what I'm doing is taking uh, this book, which I've already decorated the inside, adding the signature today, and creating these pocket stamps. Now I've gone through and I filled the yellow stamps that I had already. Um, I've started, um, I half filled it in the first video, but I finished filling it in the second, or finished filling it between videos. Um, so I went and sewed the rest of my pockets. Um, so I get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, I originally was going to do, I believe I have nine different sets of colors. So I was going to do nine pockets, but the yellow, which happened to be like my smallest amount of stamps filled one page. Um, so I figured the ones I got more blues and greens are probably going to take like two pages. So, um, I decided to just go ahead and do, um, these extra, um, extra pocket pages. And I also increased this to be uh, 11 sheets. Um, I believe I had uh, nine in there last time. So I just added a few, a few more sheets. So um, there's technically 22 spots that I can add those pockets to. So I will have more room to sew more pockets after I start adding my stamps and everything if I need to. All right, so this other thing that I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if I was gonna take these um, stamps and glue the, well not necessarily the stamps, but the pocket pages, the empty ones, uh, glue them in before I inserted the signature or not. Um, but I decided I'm going to wait and glue these after I do the signature. Just a little less fiddling and bulk to try to get around um, while I try to sew the signature in. Since this is the fourth, fourth attempt, well, I have a fourth attempt to add a signature. <clears throat> uh, but my first attempt to actually put it through a book spine. So, fun times ahead. Um, so I have my um, sharp awl, uh, my needle. I've got, I've chosen uh, my beige wax thread because I figured it would probably go the best um, color-wise with that. I have the other two choices. I have a black and brown, and I didn't think, didn't think either one of those was going to be appropriate. So I um, decided to go with that color today. Okay, so let's just get right into it. One thing I forgot to do is I had a little bit I needed to snip here after it had dried. And it got a little bit long. No major issues I had to deal with. It seemed to have, everything else seemed to dry really well, so. Okay. All right, so, I think the best for this would probably be to attach it to the book with the clips, maybe. So that it doesn't shift around. Got my finger in there, inside the book. It seems like something I would do. fairly well in there. All right, so here comes the fun part. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy glue book and use this as a um, place to push. So I am gonna go middle and I'm gonna eyeball this push this through. I hope. Oh, I must be through. I'm in the book. Okay, really push that through since that spine is thick. Okay, well. All right, so the next one I'm going to go about an inch or so from the bottom. Okay. 
seem to be angling a little toward the back of the book, but it's probably just because I'm sitting. All right, so if I go about the same distance from the bottom there, that's about right there. Okay, well, it seems like that is definitely through. Okay, all right, I'm gonna keep the binders, uh, clips on for now because I seem to have an issue with that. All right, so one, two, three-ish. times around there. I'll put that on later. <laughs> okay. All right. So time to needle. Time to needle. All right. Okay. So down through the center. was going behind one page okay so the way I did it before is I'd go down the middle and come back up but then I saw somebody else who I'm gonna have to put some washi tape on this page it looks a little old it's one of my older books so um, they go through and down that way and then they come back up the center so let's do that going through the thread. Ooh, almost lost it. Okay. And then you just make sure that the thread is on each side of the ribbon before you tighten it. Okay, well that was not too bad. Definitely think I'm gonna throw a little washi tape on this center page though, over the strings, because I'm definitely ripping them here. Yeah, we're gonna cut it. Since I'm gonna do washi tape, I don't need a bow or anything. Okay. so well. Right, I'm going to pause the video, see if I can unknot this and get this a little tighter. I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So, um, I was able to get the knots out, but by the time um, I would not be able to retie it because I had cut it so short. Um, so I decided to take the old thread out um, and then I re- um, I did washi tape that center one that was breaking, so we re repoked the holes. So we are gonna re-thread this bad boy. And this time we're gonna make sure that it is pulled taut on the outside, which I have done in the past, but for some reason today, it just eluded me. So, live and learn, right? Okay. 
Okay. All right. So, do that. And we're going to try that method again where I go top to bottom. I think the th first thread, though, when I did two, happened to seem like it was a little, like I had caught it just ever so slightly, but didn't notice it. And I think that's why it also pulled when I went to put it through. Oops. Also, because I left these on, the pages were a little, a little bit lifted up off the spine of the book. I could be wrong. It's like I said, so new to all of this that maybe it just got caught. I don't know. So that's why we're redoing it. Okay, so that seems tight there now. And... I do have my strings on each side of the thread. So we're gonna take two and knot this up. And I'm not gonna trim it yet until I see at the back. Ooh, I must play guitar on that, and that's nice. Some extra strings here. Okay. Poked a couple holes in there, but there you go. Live and learn. Okay. Don't tell me I did it upside down. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, phew. That had been a kick in the pants. Do I have done it upside down? Nope. We are correct side. Correct side. Okay. Shoo. That's all laid off my shoulders. Happy days. Okay. Let's get these binding tools out of the way before I stab myself. This that would just be on par for me to do. And this all, which is really sharp too. Okay. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. <clears throat> so now that we have all the pages, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna glue, not with the sticky glue, we're gonna use. I'm getting low. Um, we are going to use black glue. So, now I was thinking that I might, you know, be fancy here and actually maybe glue, like this is yellow stamps put on by the yellow flowers, right? That could work. All right, so I am going to glue this whole thing down. I really am running out of glue. Might only be able to do a couple of these today. Go out and get some glue and then finish the book. But that's okay. I was not about to show you be gluing every single page because holy cow, that would be boring. I will show at the end of the video though the filled book after I have stopped and dog just needs to bless you it got warm here today so we are <clears throat> we turned the air on for the first time I know really April <laughs> but uh, my dog is due for a haircut so he has lots of fur so he's out here panting all the time so we love the poochie so you take care of him better than we do sometimes, so he is living in an air-conditioned house. That's probably what made him sneeze, though. The dust coming out of the vents. So, he is due for a haircut, I believe, in about a week, so hopefully he'll survive this small streak of 80s so he can get his haircut. Okay. Oop. 
I brush that out. All right, so, okay, well, that's spectacular. All right, let's see, I have a pink page. Let's see, are there pink flowers? Green, yellow, there's some pinks in there. Not that it really matters, but oh, that'll be pretty. Let's do that. All right, so I'm gonna glue this, ooh, I'm gonna glue this page in. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay. Had a eruption there of a glue ball on the top. I guess that's what happens when you don't cap it off, but I figured how low it was, it wasn't gonna do that. So kind of like I said in the first video, I'm planning on keeping these pages a little bit more to the side. Try not to get them too close to the spine so that we leave a bit of room so it doesn't get too jammed in the center. looking pretty darn good there, isn't it? Well, I'm excited here. So I got my small bag of pink stamps here. This one is probably the smallest amount that I had compared to some of the other ones. So, which, oh, I crushed it. I crushed it. There we go. The first one is a little bit harder to get in because it seems like it's really flat to the to the ground. But once I get a couple in there, it seems to be oops upside down. It seems to be a little bit better. Yeah, this is excellent. I. I'm not really paying attention to if it's upside down or not. Yeah, it's nice because when I used to dig through these bags, it was never fun to try to find ones because they were always, you know, kind of blocked or facing the other direction or something. So that one's kind of bigger. So as you can see, this was, like I said, a smaller bag, my smallest bag, and it's filling up pretty good. So that's why I figured I'm probably going to have, you know, two pages of, well, two or three pages of the greens, that seems to be my most, or two or three pages of the blues, I have a lot of those. Yeah. Get that in there. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I will take this off video. I will finish gluing the rest of my pages in. And get my stamps all stuffed in here and when that is all said and done I'll be back to show you the final thing I couldn't be happier I could be but I'm not I'm extremely happy all right okay all right so I will um finish doing this I will wrap it up and I will show you the finished product um when I get back so all right I am back with the finished product um I just want to show you the um, the 
spine and the outside of it. Um, it appears that I, when I was poking the holes, probably was angling inward because I wasn't really straight above it. So it is not exactly centered. I'm not totally mad about it because you can still see the title of the book for that. So, um, but I guess next time I just got to be more careful about going straight down through the uh, signature um, into the spine of a book. So lesson learned on that. Um, it's fairly full, uh, but not overwhelmingly full. You can see that the, might be hard to see, but the spine is kind of pulled forward because of that thing. But um, again, just for me, so. All right, so I'll do a quick flip through. I finally got a chance to enter all of the uh, uh, pages in here. I ended up making 14 of my um, slots. Um, I had to go back and make some more. Um, because I have a lot of stamps. So um, I do have some open pages that I can add more if I feel like it. Um, so I have um, ended up with three pages of blue stamps. And I think it's kind of cool how you can kind of see some of our short pages and longer pages. Um, so you can see them together. And then I got um, two pages of green stamps or three pages. Three pages of green stamps. Um, again, kind of cool how that looks like that. So pretty together. And I've got uh, yellow ones, put them by the yellow flowers, of course. And we've got some purple stamps here. Um, these are my like black and white stamps. Um, this is the middle of the signature. I didn't put anything here yet because it was, like I said, that I had a washi tape because it was a little bit uh, fragile. Um, and then I've got my uh, white stamps, I would call them, more with pictures on them. Um, not really colorful to go with anything else. A little space to add if I want to expand. Uh, I've got my red pages or red stamps here. My pink, again, looks nice with that and going back. Uh, these are my brown stamps, so they'll look nice next to the more brownish kind of birds there. My green stamps, next to some more green floral. I'm sorry, orange stamps with the green background next to the uh, green floral. And I think that's it. So I have a few more pages in the back here that I can add um, some more of these. And I was thinking if I wanted to maybe put some labels or something back here to uh, separate my label boxes because I have quite a few um, for that. So, um, but all in all, I'm extremely happy with how that turned out. And now instead of having um, nine bags um, in those uh, nine bags of these, just strewn around, I have one book that I can go ahead and pull some stamps out, which is very exciting. So now I should be able to use them um, a lot better. So um, so that is my folio. Um, I hope you learned something from it or learn what not to do from it and um, uh, take with that um, what you may. Um, but I'm extremely proud of how this turned out being, um, I've never done it before. So um, there's one other thing I wanted to show you if you followed any of my videos put that to the side here is my um, spring floral journal spring floral journal um, I had finished it there's a I'll flip through and everything um, but I finally got um, I got a box of book corners in I got these off of uh, Amazon um, just a whole wide variety of ones here um, but I had um, gotten some book corners it's on my Timu uh, haul that just were not exactly book corners so um, I wanted to show you that um, uh, I added these um, they're kind of fun a little bit more modern I had a different one in mind but it was too thin um, I put three of them on there but I just wanted to show you how um, easy it was for me to do these um, they're pretty strong I mean you can't bend them with your hand they're actually really strong they had teeth in there um, so I'm gonna put that one on there Get that on there and crimp it down. Crimp this side down. And it is on there. So, yeah, so that is finished. I haven't quite figured out if I'm gonna keep using that as a tie through or not. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna retie that together and say that that is back to normal and it's finally getting warm around here so hopefully pretty soon we're gonna go get some flowers for the garden so all right well that is it for this video and this series of how to make a stamp folio 
So, as usual, I hope that you enjoyed and have a wonderful and creative day. Thanks for stopping by.